Hey guys, what's going on? I believe it's day four of my 100 days of coding with Swift. Uh, today was a bit of a large chapter and I kind of have to leave or a bit of, or, you know, a few minutes early. I wasn't able to study as long as I would like. I wasn't able to finish the chapter, but what I did learn today was about um, switches. Um, switches are in Swift are a little easier to use than a, a bunch of complicated if else statements or else if statements. Um, what's pretty cool about switches is you can use um, you know, you basically set a scenario and then you have the switch pull through the code to see if any of the examples that you put within the switch match the, you know, the scenario, so to speak. Um, you could also do this with ranges. And so you could say, okay, well, if it doesn't match um, exactly, if it matches somewhere in between this range of this or that, then, uh, you know, execute this body of code. Um, there was also a bit where you could then tell it, okay, well, if it doesn't match any of the codes here, then uh, assign it this new operator. This is like a binding technique. Um, assign it this new uh, value, I should say, not operator, and uh, then execute that body of code. So um, there's still a bit more to go for this chapter. I'm pretty excited. I like the idea of you know getting into the nitty gritty of the code. Um, I'm also able to kind of, you know, not necessarily look at the book so much when I'm trying to, you know, um, I don't know, practice the things that it's, you know, going over or teaching um, because, I'm, you know, I'm getting more of the hang of the language. So it's going going well. Um, I'll study, uh, you know, again tomorrow, 100 Days of Code. So uh, I'll probably just resume this chapter tomorrow, maybe a light review, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to consume a bit more. Anyway, take it easy. Just an update. Day four of 100 Days of Code. Peace.